Well, it was good to see some of our guys back, um, Maurice. And, you know, I, t- I told the guys in the locker room, it- it's a loss. We fought hard. Um, but we're coming together. We're coming together. I like the way Maurice played. And I like the way Maurice and Elton looked out there. We had some bigs, finally. And, um, you know, we played off of them. And it's a, it's, a, it's a good future, immediate future. And about the game itself, you know, LeBron just puts you in the bind, you know. He puts you in the bind. And um, if you just single coverage him, he's just going to have his way. And then if you give help, then guys make big shots. If, you know, Gibson makes a big shot and uh, Mo Williams make a big shot. And we didn't come down and, you know, we didn't answer them. So that was the difference. Um, that when LeBron makes a three in the corner just off of a loose ball, or I mean, that's just incredible, you know. He's just a super, super player. The other day you said you didn't think Maurice was ready to play in a game. What changed your mind so quickly? Um, I didn't want to reveal that he was playing, actually. But uh, we had to make sure that the doctor, after that, after I spoke with you guys, the doctor had to give a final, final answer. And the final answer was, give him, he can take about six or seven minutes tops, a stretch at a time. Hey, down the stretch, hitting shots, hey, Andre hit a big field goal with like five, six minutes to go. And really, nothing We didn't make a shot. shot. I mean, we didn't make a big shot. They made, a big sh- they made two, maybe three big shots. And they got a, a crucial rebound that we pretty much had in our hand. And Verizal, with his extra effort, um, got, you know, pursued it and got possession of it. And that was a big play. Uh, I, I thought Drew had a clear lane to the basket. He, he, he threw up a floater instead of just getting to the basket. And then we missed another open shot. And they make shots. So that was the difference coming down the stretch. And usually that's how it is. I thought we defended well enough, you know. I, I, we didn't let people get dunks and drives to the basket. And LeBron just put you in a bind. You have to give some help, and then just a, a quick pass and a quick shot from a three, they knock it down. That's the difference in the game. Eddie, when you talk about, you said that about, you know, going down a lane and shooting a floater, it, it sounds like maybe there's an underlying thing of confidence there, do you think? No, look, he's he's a rookie. He you know he he thinks he can make it. Maybe it was a good shot to him, and uh, and he'll learn. He'll learn that he just has to take it quick to the basket, and lay it off the glass. But that wasn't the big play. You know, it was Drew had a terrific game tonight. He played very well, and just the difference of you know a veteran um, getting to the basket or a rookie floating a, a shot to the basket. Now, if it went in, I wouldn't have said anything about it. Do such a good job defending, like he did that possession, and then they get a rebound, and then they score it. It's got to be really that's, deflating. That's, yeah, that's it's it's a big play. You know, it's not deflating. We we had the resiliency to sort of you know still stand and fight back. We didn't let our guard down and just give up. We fought back, but certainly it's a big play. And if you don't answer it, then that's the difference. You know, it goes from tied score to three, and LeBron makes a shot. It goes to six. All right, thanks, guys. Okay.